In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can set up Soundy's abandoned cart so that way you can be sending out emails like this to artists who abandoned their cart on your beat store. So before we get into this, you're gonna need two tools. The first is going to be a Zapier account and the next will be an email marketing provider. Also note in this video, I'm gonna go over the exact process for the software convert kit, but if you need help using a different software, please ask in the Soundy Discord under the channel of tech support. So then how does abandoned cart work? Well, it's pretty simple. Abandoned cart works on on either the page builder or with an embed player on your own custom website. I'm gonna exit this out and just go back to the page builder here. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add a beat to my cart like an artist would do, but let's say that I go ahead, I go to Google something or whatever and exit out. After 30 minutes, that cart that I just created is now going to be considered abandoned and we can technically recover it if an email was tracked to that session. So now we know how it works, how can we actually get people back to their cart to complete their purchase? Well, first things first, Soundy has to be able to identify the user's email that abandoned that cart or else it's gonna show as a ghost cart that you can see in the abandoned tabs here. Essentially, all the ghost carts are the ones that Soundy wasn't able to identify the user's email to the session. So then how can we identify a user's email to then track the abandoned carts? Well, on the page builder, there are three ways that you can go ahead and get someone's email to then be tracked to the session. So the first way is with the store email opt-in in the hero section of the page here. So if you go to homepage, you go to header and cover, you'll see there's a header component called email opt-in, which is that. So if you have that turned on, you can collect someone's email to then be tied to the session. So that's the first way. And then of course you have free downloads with your tracks. So if you have free downloads turned on and someone does a free download that is then tied into the session as well. And then if we go over to the exit intent pop-up, if you turn this on, I'll do a quick test here. You can see if somebody opts in with your exit intent pop-up and then they go ahead and then abandon cart, we now have an email tied to the session as well. So there's three ways we can tie an email to a session. And then I wanna make note of if you're using the custom player on your website, the store email opt-in and the exit intent will not be in the player, but the free downloads will be. So if you wanna connect your own custom website to track abandoned carts, there is a JavaScript API that if you do understand coding, you can also track your own website pop-ups to then be tied into the Soundy player to track those sessions. This is a bit more advanced and you do have to understand JavaScript, but the feature is there if you do know how to do it. Okay, so now how can we actually send email to the users that abandon the cart that we have tracked emails to. Well, the first thing I wanna tell you is that in this video, we are using ConvertKit, but if you're using a different email marketing provider, it needs to have the functionality of custom fields. See right now, these are custom fields right here on the side. These are essentially where we can store custom data for the individual contact. So you can see right here, I have a custom field on the ConvertKit account called Abandoned Cart URL. And essentially, Soundy gives us the URL for the abandoned cart. And we need to be able to send that URL back to the contact. And I will let you know if you have any questions or you are confused, please join the Soundy Discord linked below and ask in the tech support channel. We are more than happy to help you out and get it figured out for you. But now let's get into Zapier here. So essentially we're gonna be using Zapier to take the Soundy data and pass it to our email marketing provider. So we're gonna go ahead and click on create Zap in the top left here. So now it's gonna ask us to get a trigger and we're just gonna type in Soundy and you will see that the Soundy beat store comes up. So now it's gonna ask us for an event and the event we're gonna use is cart abandoned and then we're gonna click on continue. Now it's gonna ask us to choose an account, so I'm gonna choose my account that we have set up. If you don't have this set up, let me show you, it's gonna ask you for an API key. All you do is you go into the studio, you go to API keys, and it will be on enabled. I'm just hiding that right now because I don't want anyone to get my API keys, and you click on generate API key, and then it will make one for you, and then you paste that into Zapier here, and then click on continue. So now you're gonna have to do a test trigger. Now on this account, I may already have an abandoned cart that is actually linked to an email, but if you don't have one, it's gonna say there's no data, so here's what you have to do. Go ahead and get your BeatStore URL, and then go into a new incognito window, and load it up. And so now what you're going to do is just join your email list in one of the three ways possible. I'm just going to use the store email opt-in here. So I put my name as Ryan Smith and the email is unofficial marketer. I'm going to click on subscribe me. Cool. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get the beat uh, throwback. I'm going to add it to my cart right there. 
and then I'm just gonna exit out of this. So now Soundy takes about 30 to 45 minutes to process an abandoned cart to make sure it's truly abandoned. So now you do have to wait uh, 30 to 45 minutes for this to come in. So as you can see, I already have some records on my account here, but if I go ahead and click on find new records, it's gonna say there are no new records on the accounts uh, because it didn't pull that in just yet. So it just pulls in the original three records. So what we needed to do is give this some time and then we can come back to this. All right guys, so I had to go run out and do some stuff for an hour, but now we are back recording. If I go into Soundy, you can see I have an abandoned cart from about an hour ago with my email, with the uh, beat I added in the price. So if we go to find new records, it should pull in cart D or cart C should be updated. There we go, pulled in cart D and as we can see, this went ahead and pulled in throwback, the beat I uploaded with uh, my testing last name, unofficial marketer. So I'm a continuous selected record. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to convert kit. So this is where you would update it with whatever e-marketing provider you're using. With convert kit, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the option to then the event is gonna be add tag to subscriber. And the reason why we're doing that is because in convert kit, I have the abandoned cart automation start whenever somebody is tagged with abandoned cart start. So that's what we're gonna do. Add tag to subscriber, click on continue. It's gonna ask to connect my uh, ConvertKit account. So I'm gonna go ahead, click okay. And now for the action. Okay, so once this loads here, the tag is going to be the abandoned cart start. So that way this person will start the abandoned cart email sequences. Uh, where it says email, what we're going to do is we're going to map this to the contacts email. This is the email that gets pulled into ConvertKit. The first name is going to be the first name that gets pulled in ConvertKit. And then we have the abandoned cart URL. And so this is what we're going to do is we're going to go for recover URL direct checkout. Just put that in. So essentially this is the URL the customer is gonna to go to to then get their uh, cart recovered to, to pay for the order. Now you see something here, cart abandoned cart dynamic code. This is something that is more advanced than Soundy launch program. So don't worry about that. Just worry about the abandoned cart URL and put your URL in there and then click on continue. And then let me go to my contacts over here and you guys will see that if there is a contact here from before, there is from, of course, he signed up on the list. Uh, you can see he got tagged as store email opt-in, okay? Because that's what I did. And then if I test this, you will now see, just go ahead, let this do its thing, okay? Let me just hop out of this and hop back in it real quick. You guys will see this contact, the abandoned cart URL is there and he has been tagged with abandoned cart start. So now how do we actually get this URL to be sent back to the customer? Well, we're gonna to go to our automations and we're gonna to go to the abandoned cart emails that we have just so I can pull up an email automation here for you guys real quick. All right, so in your email, like it's hey first name, right? Blah, 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 blah. And then you wanna add a button. So let's go ahead, let's add that. We're gonna add a button here that's gonna say complete your purchase. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna bold this button to make it stand out. And what we're gonna do is in ConvertKit, you go and you get the personalization for the abandoned cart URL. And so what this does is this just tells ConvertKit, hey, pull in whatever you know data is associated, whatever input is associated with this custom field. So all you do is you copy this and just delete it out the email and then go into your button go to styles and put this as the URL. And what you'll see now is if I do a preview email and I go to test email and I send it to this email account, you'll see when I click on it, it's going to then pull in my checkout URL. So, all right, so there's the email I went to and I'll open this in a new tab and you will see it's gonna pull in uh, the link preview because it's a test email. So you can see it pulled in the recover cart and if I go to it, you will then see it's gonna then pull up the checkouts. Now, I might be cached on my original account, so yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, so yeah, there's the cart that this person would then use to recover. Like I said, if you have any questions, please just hit us up in the Soundy Discord under tech support. We'll be happy to help you.